Hi, this is Rebecca. Today we're going to cover the concept and matter called elements, compounds, and mixtures. If you aren't already familiar with the three states of matter, the phase diagram, or the heating curve, I would highly recommend for you to click on the links above. Uh, there are videos for all three of these concepts, and they form the basis of matter. So definitely check those out before moving into this topic today. We're going to start today by defining what element, compound, and mixture are. First up, element. Element is a species of atom having the same number of protons in its atomic nuclei. Examples of elements could be hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen, neon, fluorine, pretty much anything that's on the periodic table. If you guys have heard of another way of saying the periodic table, it's also the periodic table of elements. So that's where the element piece is coming from. A compound is a substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together. So here, as an example, water is a compound containing two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. So in this case over here, you can see that there's one atom of oxygen bonded with two atoms of hydrogen in this microscopic view. The next piece are mixtures. A mixture is made up of two or more different substances which are physically combined. Example would be mixing sugar with water. And there are two different types of mixtures, homogeneous mi mixtures as well as heterogeneous mixtures. If we look here, homo and hetero are the differences between these two different types of names for these mixtures. Homo, the prefix homo means same, and the prefix hetero means different. So now if we're combining HOMO together with the microscopic view, we can see that in a hom homogeneous mixture, the microscopic view looks like the mixture is fairly uniform, right? The substances are mixed evenly. Whereas a heterogeneous mixture means that the substances are not really mixed as evenly as a homogeneous mixture. Now we're gonna take a look at these three definitions and put them together on a flow chart to really be able to visualize the differences between them. Matter separation. There are physical and chemical types. The first one is physical and matter separation that's physical is also known as mixture. Chemical separation of matter is known as a pure substance. Mixture there are different compositions of mixture and we covered the two different kinds. Pure substance, there are decompositions of pure substances and there are also two kinds. In a mixture, there are two different types of composition and here we have a homogeneous one and a heterogeneous one. In decomposition, we have compound and element. And these are decompositions of pure substances chemically. Now, here we can see that in this flow chart, chemical separation for compound and element are different from a physical separation, also known as a mixture. In a heterogeneous mixture, there are two different types, and the way to be able to determine which type of a heterogeneous mixture it is, is asking the question of does it settle? So does this mixture, if you leave it for a while, a beaker of a mixture, if you just leave that mixture standing, say for two hours, stay for a day, and you come back and check on it tomorrow, um, does the substance settle? Or is it still visually mixed as if it was a mixture. If it doesn't settle, this is also known as a colloid. Um, examples of colloids are jello and lotion. If it does settle, then this is known as suspension. And one of the easiest ways to be able to give you an example to visualize right now is for example, um, in a suspension mixture, say, you were to grab a spoonful of dirt um, and you're going to put that dirt in a beaker 
and you're gonna add some distilled water. You're gonna use a stirring rod and you're gonna mix it. And after mixing it for an extended period of time, it does seem like the dirt and the water has been mixed, right? And that is actually a heterogeneous mixture because the different sizes of the particles of the dirt and the different chemicals that are in the dirt are probably not homogeneously mixed. If you leave that beaker out for a while and you come back even say in like two minutes, you would start seeing a separation. You would start seeing a settling of the dirt and the water. You would start seeing that the dirt starts to settle at the bottom of the beaker and you would see that the water actually seems like it looks like it's on top of it. So it doesn't seem like it's mixed very well. And that's an example of a suspension mixture. If you like this content, if you found this flowchart helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you can hit the like button or subscribe. Thank you.